Hello, nerds, and welcome back to another enthralling, invigorating episode of this Wisdom. I'm TJ, aka Graded Binky. I'm Digi. And with yeah, and with me is Digi, yeah. as always, the Bouse. Yeah. As I affectionately call him now. Yeah. Affectionately. So, affectionately. <laughs> so much affection calling you the Bouse. Uh, but at least you're not calling me Daddy. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, ugh, ugh. <laughs> oh god that okay with that frightening prospect out of the way <laughs> just saying that's uh, what this, I said. this is better yeah I mean, so daddy what's on the queue for this week <laughs> last shit my son <laughs> oh god <laughs> so uh <laughs> This week has been slow, uh, fa fairly, fairly slow, unless you're a fan of movies. In nerd, nice burp, by the way. Yeah, I didn't burp. Uh, whatever, you did. <laughs> you're didn't. a liar. So, uh, if you're a fan of nerd movies, this uh, this week was pretty good for you. We have Power Rangers, thank God. Yeah. And uh, we have a Logan rated R trailer, uh, and a regular one. So we have a red band trailer. Mm -hmm. So this this rated R Wolverine movie is gonna be fucking sick for lack of better words yeah i saw the trailer earlier this week when it came out i was like oh, oh god shit. i saw it the morning it came out because i had a few friends im me and be like dude <laughs> dude dude so uh first we're going to talk about these trailers and uh let's let's go ahead and get the uh the obvious out of the way power rangers revealed a lot oh my god did. that trailer revealed a lot and what did you expect it's power rangers I, you, you knew I, they were gonna be kids. They were gonna fight something big. Yeah, I honestly, in my opinion, I wasn't expecting anything because I'm not really a Power Rangers fan. The only Power Rangers movie I think I ever watched was that really old, weird one in the '90s where they were fighting this Jello monster and all the adults. Yeah, Ivan Ooze. Yeah. Yeah. That was the only thing I remember. It's like oh. that was the only fucking Power Ranger movie I ever liked because that was such a weird fucking movie. You mean the movie where they fought Apocalypse from X Men? <laughs> <laughs> I was at that. <laughs> because every it's, I remember when they were talking about X Men Apocalypse, and they're like, Apocalypse looks like fucking Ivan Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm it's like, is. really? Is that really is that? Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna look up Ivan Ooze actually now. Cause I did. I you know what? what no. was. So pop that up in the editing. Just to throw this out there, I know this is like super news, but future editing, future editing nerd. Oh, he does. Ew. We're, we're gonna put, <laughs> we're gonna put this picture in, and that's what it looks like. All right. Ew. That's straight up what it looks like. Oh my fucking god! I forgot about what he, I so, forgot what he looks like. Oh god, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. Um. But uh, the Power Rangers movie, it looks it looks good. It looks fun. I'm going to watch the shit out of it. This is like my nostalgia movie. Like everyone says like Iron Man or X-Men is my nostalgia movie. Or it's something is around their nostalgia. Um, I am all about Power Rangers. Like this is my this is my shit right here. And I was I was like leaping with joy the entire time. The Zords look good. The costumes look good. I mean, people say they're CGI. Really, the only thing that looks CGI is, like, the lines and, like, the glowing lights in them. And that looks, like, about it. Uh, I, don't know. I, didn't, I haven't really got a like, good look at it, just because I uh, don't care. Right. I mean, the costumes look practical, which... Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing a little bit here on... People think that a lot, a lot of this movie is a problem. Uh, like, the only thing I can't get over is Goldar. Like, uh, Goldar looked like a weird monkey ape gorilla thing. Like, he looked kind of threatening. Out, out of all the original Power Ranger villains, he kind of had one of the more unique designs. And that's really it about Goldar. That's all you really needed to know. And they didn't make him look that cool. Honestly. Um, but, eh. I'll take what I can get. This isn't going to be like movie of the year material by like by no means, but I am going to have a gigantic fucking smile on my face. Yeah. Uh, the entire time I watch it. Uh, 
I can't get that fucking image of fucking ooze now out of my head now. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, other than that, uh, Power Rangers looks fine. I'm going to watch the hell out of it. And for anyone th- saying, I can't believe they used Kanye West in that trailer, the song is called Power. Oh. I like you did. I, I thought you were said that they used him in the trailer. I was like, where the fuck was he? I don't remember this. They used a Kanye West song in the trailer. Oh. You know, the, ah, uh, hey, and that's uh, it. Yeah, but, okay. it's called, but it's called Power. Yeah. How did you not see that coming? Yeah. I, <laughs> Like, what did you expect? Did you just expect, I got the power! <laughs> like, that would have been cool, honestly, but yeah. no. Um, so, that aside, we actually have a little bit more Power Rangers news that we'll get into a little bit later. Um, but let's talk about Logan. Yeah, Logan looks really cool. Uh, and... Logan looks awesome, and I don't think it's going to take place in the regular X-Men movie continuity. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with that movie. All I know is X twenty three is gonna X twenty three is gonna be in it. And she's oh, yeah. a scary little fucker in that trailer. Yeah, I'm already scared of little kids. I I don't like little kids just because I don't like little kids. I don't like a lot of things. People. I already know. don't like. Like my wife has asked me, so uh, do you want to have kids in a few years? And I'm like, try like seven. <laughs> try like never. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know that might that might be better. Let's just never. Me and kids, I mean, there's a priority for me where I ha- I need to have action figures on my shelf right now. Yeah. So, I don't think a child should be in my priority list. Just throwing that out there, honey. <laughs> I just don't like people in general. Either way. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks fine. Everything uh, looks fine about Logan. It looks like it's not gonna, like, like I said earlier, it looks like it's not gonna take place in the uh, normal X Men universe, I think what it's I think uh, it's supposed to take place like either really far in the future where supposedly mutants are like have all been you know killed off or something from what I recall. Well, I I think it's an uh, like I think it's a multiverse story, honestly, because uh, they're showing comic books and Logan is just like. Yeah, some of it probably happened, some of it probably didn't, whatever. Yeah. I'll never tell. <laughs> like, that type thing. So, yeah. the thought that it might be a multiverse story, yeah. to where, you know, he's just kind of roaming around, and this is, like, in this universe, he actually loses a lot of his healing, and, you know, that type thing. Yeah. And that could bring in Mr. Sinister, actually. I have like, super hard. Uh, he's a huge X-Men villain. Okay. Uh, from the 90s. Okay. I'm not a Marvel or X-Men person, so I was like, eh. That's cool. But they could tease Mr. Sinister with this, um, that he has learned how to travel to multiverses and kind of fuck around with stuff. Yeah. Or what we do is we just keep this completely separate. Period. Yeah. Like, the Logan movies have only taken place in their own space. Yeah, and if I don't see, if I don't see Logan donning the original X, like the original Wolverine costume, at least once yeah. in this, I'm not gonna be mad. But I would like to see it happen. Uh, oh, speaking of, because they Hugh they Jackman. teased it in the Wolverine. Yeah. I want it. Uh, a little bit sadder news regarding Logan movie. This is going to be Hugh Jackman's last time playing Wolverine. Yeah, which is why I need to see him in that costume. Yeah. Even if it's like a flashback to him just like murdering the shit out of something, I need it. Because uh, they tease it in the Wolverine, so I, I need that costume. Now, getting into other forms of uh, nerd movie, Z- uh, the Green Lantern Corps uh, has a new list of actors, like front runner actors that they might be using. Uh, and I have the list here. Actors like Tom Cruise, Joe McHale, Bradley Cooper, Army Hammer, and Jake Gyllenhaul. Yeah. Oh, Let yeah, me just Ryan go ahead. Reynolds. Oh yeah, and Ryan Reynolds, who don't let's just let's ixnay him. Yeah. No, don't use Ryan Reynolds. Let him be Deadpool, you cheap bastards at WB. We um, like the first Green Lantern movie. Why would we like the next one with him in it? Yeah, exactly. This is pretty bad juju. Bad juju. But the but uh, the 
in I don't know how to say it. There's a small part of me that would like to see to, uh that would like to see Ryan Reynolds try it again. Yeah. But Ryan Reynolds went into that inter- like he said in interviews he's like, "Yeah, um they did a bad thing by not having the script fully finished yeah. by the time I was done." And they changed the costume like three or four times. Yeah. So they had nothing ready. They were just trying to cobble together. Yeah. Which was a really unfortunate because so many people were looking forward to it at the time. Oh yeah, I was. I saw the first costume, like the one that was like practical and had like silver and green. Yeah. And shit in it. Like if I can find uh, the Green Lantern original costume. What else was there? Something in Green Lantern. I forget. Um... Oh yeah. You know another. You know another DC. Uh. Remember, I'd love to see get a fucking movie. Who? Martian Manhunter. Oh god, but he's already just let him. Just let him be in the TV show. Let that be movie. it. I want a movie so bad. I was Maybe so not. disappointed because I, for some reason, when that when that Martian movie came out with the guy who got stuck who got stuck on Mars, when that movie came out, I thought because I didn't see the trailer or anything about it beforehand, but I honestly thought, oh my god. Did DC make a Martian Manhunter movie and I heard nothing about it till now? Right. And I was so excited. And then I looked at the trailer and I was like, oh. I was very, very excited. I was so disappointed. I was like, no. Well, with the Green Lantern one, I just feel like that could go either way. Yeah. But, um, so future editor picture of the old costume here now. Now, that may not have been official. But when I saw that, like, that was the picture kind of floating around the internet yeah. at the time. Mm-hmm. And I got super, super hype. Yeah. Did uh, I just, I wanted nothing but that. But I wanted that practical costume, nothing else. And then they made it all CG. Yeah. They had to, they looked, it really seemed like they had some good ideas. And then something happened. Something bad happened. Oh, yeah. Something. You mean the fact that they rewrote the script, like, six times? Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah, that didn't bode well. Yeah. But either way, um, Tom, don't put Tom Cruise in that list. Oh, God. Get Bradley Cooper out of there. Joel McHale can work, but only if you're trying to make him witty and an asshole. Well, they, it is supposed to be a buddy cop movie with um, whoever they're going to cast as John Stewart. Which I love how we hear, we hear all this stuff about how, who's going to play Hal Jordan, but not a goddamn thing about fucking John Stewart. Just get, Here's what you do. You give me Army Hammer from this list. Army Hammer is an amazing actor. Just, I'm gonna keep singing his praises every time we talk about him, because the man from Uncle and the Lone Ranger, he he shines. Like the Lone Ranger's not a particularly good movie, but Army Hammer's damn good. Yep. Everything about Army Hammer is awesome. Man. So uh, if we get these two, and we uh, one of these two, and then we get fucking Idris Elba as John Stewart, that's my universe made. That's like the perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's the perfect alignment of the planets and the moons and the stars at that point yeah. for me. Mm-hmm. But really, that's all that we've really seen on Green Lantern, right? Yeah, I saw all this week. Anyways, this, yeah. All I've seen is just people going, oh, this is the who- this person's going to play the next Green Lantern. No, this person is. No, this person is. And it's like, I right. don't care who's going to play who, how, who's going to play how Jordan. I want to know who's going to play Jon Stewart. Yeah, get that Hal that Jordan Wonder Bread shit out of here, because Hal Jordan is like straight up Wonder Bread. Like, <laughs> eat your eat your vitamins and say your prayers, kids. Yeah, I know. Like, I know he's the strongest and he's like the best Green Lantern apparently, but it's like, no, I want to. I don't really care for him. Fucking well, John Stewart was my dude. But oh man, oh wow, excuse my chair. <laughs> But no, it's uh, like I said, it's been a it's been a good week for for movies, and yeah. that's about it actually for movies. Uh, TV did okay, I guess. We got Powerless, but yeah. it's it's Alan Tudyk, so I'm gonna check it out. But Powerless other than that, really, but uh, Powerless uh, from the trailer I've seen, it's it's really got some old references. It's, n- it's like not bad bad old, but like it's like oh my nerd heart. Oh okay. Well, if it's gonna, I mean, if it's gonna pull out the strings, I might. Uh, like I said, I might check it out. But not, other than that, I'm not, not really sad. interested. It's not, it's not sad. It's like, oh, I know what that's from, and that's really old. Like right. The uh, what the, 
He was gonna be that giant star monster thing that uh, made the Justice League first assemble. That oh saw, no! Yeah, I saw that in the trailer. I was like, oh my god! Like Star X or whatever yeah. its name is. Yeah. Oh like, god, oh, no. Oh my. No, it's like I don't think they actually show it in battle. They just show you a cl a, like a glimpse of him <laughs> doing a battle. You don't see the heroes or anything. You just see glimpses. I know, him but and you're like, oh. oh, my fucking nerd heart. <laughs> Oh god, how great would it be in the Justice League movie if they bring that thing in because oh, Steppenwolf made it? I would love it. <laughs> it would be have so a little stupid. bit. Yeah, just have a little bit of a heart here, DC movie. Yeah. So, other than that, DC, um, t television took off a little bit. Uh, a series of unfortunate events is out uh, mm -hmm. on Netflix. Yeah. Um, go see it that. if you get a chance. I don't um, good. It's so good. It's a dark comedy it at is. this point. It's Which so it's good, more, it's much more depressing of a book, but it's played enough to be. It's almost like the Adams Family, like the old movies. Oh yeah. Uh, and which, fun fact, directed by the same guy. Well, cool. I'm not surprised. So uh, it shouldn't be a surprise that it feels a lot like an yeah. Adams Family movie. Yeah. But that type of dark humor translates way too well. Yeah. To this, so good job there. Uh, and, uh, this week in comic books, at least for me, um, an, an update on the Power Ranger comic. Yeah. Um, I mentioned that they have a weird, like, multiverse thing going on now. Yeah. Where there's a version where, uh, apparently the Green Ranger and Rita yeah. kept in power and they basically demolished everything. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Tommy and Billy, uh, the Green and Blue Ranger... Uh, are the ones in that multiverse at this point and they have to basically try to find a way home mm -hmm. but in their attempt to do so they are brought to lord dracon's castle uh, uh who looks like a mixture of the white and green ranger maybe that's the point uh which is the point i think and he rules over the world with an iron fist apparently from his throne in Angel Grove. And Tommy is basically just going, well, who do you think you are? He's like, oh, really? You you really don't know? And he takes off the helmet. He's like, you're just my lesser self. Oh, and it, it's just Tommy with a like, scar on his face. So the comic is... Uh, the comic is really good so far. Yeah. It looks like but, really good from the, the art I've seen. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, it's awesome. Um... But it really dives in hard with the Power Rangers mythos, so prepare your anus. <laughs> L lube it and polish it up, because, yeah, it's going to happen. Uh, now, that's pretty much all in comics. Comics really haven't been making a splash lately, which is kind of depressing. So now we can get to games. Yay. Games, the thing we love to talk about, games. Yeah, ukulele. Uh, which was so slow. It was so slow this week. It was. At least we got some confirmation Except for ukulele. Though, on some things, but uh, yeah. ukulele has been confirmed that it'll be on the Nintendo Switch for sure. So that's yeah. Good. Uh, it's also been confirmed that the Binding of Isaac will be on Switch. We didn't have official confirmation from Nintendo. No, it's uh, but now we can. It will be a launch game. You can you can play about the Binding of Isaac like as soon as it launches. Which is good, but it won't include the mod tools. Yeah, and as far as no Switch, mod. Yeah, and as far as the Switch goes, you will not have any video streaming apps or anything allowed on it. Cause I guess Which is depressing. It is, because it's like, aww. Damn it. It's so, it's so depressing. It is, that would have been a really good thing to add. That would have been a good thing. But I guess it's because most people have smart TVs. Eh, there's that. At this point. I don't know, tablets. That might have been the decision. Yeah, so you can use your, uh, like your cell phone or... Your TV has the smart capabilities already. So, I mean, I get the trade-off, but it still would have been nice. Yeah. Like, maybe there will be an update later, but maybe. as of right now, no streaming apps. Yeah, which is sad. It's like, aww, I want yeah. to stream one. Which my Wii, my Wii died way, way long ago, and I, I every once in a while, I'll still boot it up for Netflix. I, <laughs> we did. We just got rid of ours because they were just, every t every like, every couple of months of breakdown and I was like what the fuck why do we not have any luck with Wii's well, it, well it's always like I'm booting it up for like a little kid that we're babysitting 
like with a tiny TV. I'm like, hey, look, the Wii. It's a glorified Netflix machine at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just use it for that. Because yep. uh, it's lying around. Why not? Yep. So, uh, other game news. Perception. Not pertaining to Nintendo. <laughs> uh, Perceptions. There's a Kickstarter horror game called Perception, made by the X Bioshock developers. That's gonna be coming to the PS4 soon. And you look like, uh, and you're blind in this yeah. game, but you all, uh, your only form of um, sight is echolocation. So that it's, looks really good. Yeah, it's like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. So. uh... What uh, games that came out this week? Uh, not a whole lot on the radar that came out that was really like, yay! Uh, Punch Club for the 3DS. If you don't have Punch Club, get it. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, get that. Gravity Rush 2 came out, oh, which yeah. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. It, January? Uh, <laughs> so, I never played Gravity Rush 1. I need to. And then I'll play Gravity Rush 2. But what I've heard, it's pretty good. It's more of a turn your brain off game. It's not like trying to tell an immensely amazing story. Okay. It's just trying to mi- mi- mix around some cool mechanics and physics. Yeah. So. Uh, we also got Warhammer 20,000 20, Sanctus Reach, which. Oh, wow. I don't know anything about that game. All I know is Wolf I don't was either. fucking excited for that one. He was. Oh, yeah, he's off. a Warhammer fanatic. Yeah. And there was. Urban Empire too. Um, Urban Empire came out this week too, which I guess is like it's basically like Sim City, but it's a little more in depth, but not. It's more political based and, and more based. Uh, and more right uh, more rioting yeah. because it's urban. There's a lot of black people that are angry. <laughs> TJ, edit that out. <laughs> Fucking yeah, put it back in twice. <laughs> the Trump effect. Make a small wrap around it. Yeah. Black people, black, 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 black people riot. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Dragon Quest Eight came out for the 3DS. Dragon Quest, I'm a huge Dragon Quest fan. I love JRPGs in general. Uh, Dragon Quest Eight, that was a meh Dragon Quest for me. But uh, they they are gonna have Dragon Quest Ten pretty soon, so yeah, I never, it gets a pass. I never really got into the Dragon Quest series. The only Dragon Quest game that I thought was interesting that I actually got to play for, which is Dragon Quest Builders. And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, that was pretty fun. This is such a fun game. It's like Minecraft, Dra- but better. Let me give you a little clue, in. Dragon Quest in Japan, they shut schools down. Jesus. When Dragon Quest is going to come out. God. <laughs> I'm not sure if they still do, but they used to do that. It was like, kids are just not going to go to school because they're going to be too busy playing Dragon Quest. Yeah. So why the fuck do we even do this? I wish Arch Ghost would do that here. God. Like they just like they just know. And that's why like letters from the government had to go to Square Enix, I think, on that and say, you guys need to release on Saturdays or Friday <laughs> evenings. Cause we can't keep these kids away from their education. That way they'll have the whole full weekend and then they'll go back into school. Yeah. But um uh, something that came out kind of under the radar. There's a beat 'em up game for Power Rangers called uh, Power Rangers Mega Battle. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, just look up videos for it. Uh, it does not look like something I'm ever. Uh, as a Power Rangers fan, mind you. Yeah. I'm not gonna pick that up. I'm just not. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I don't want it. There's no reason I would ever want it. It's just a beat 'em up, and that's it. Yeah, the only. And it looks kind of cheaply made, so I, like, I'll go with. It. Yeah, if you want like a Power Rangers game, I would say go check out that. Oh, oh shit! What was that game that we did a review on before? Uh, Chroma Squad. I think. It was oh yeah, dude! Chroma Squad is yeah. a Power Ranger game and a half. Yeah, just that not the, one. Not you the want license. a Power Rangers game? Get the Chroma Squad game. That looks. Or really fuck, even good. Super Dust Force. Yeah. Which we we will do eventually more of those indie game retrospects. It's just right now we're trying to figure out what all else we want to do for the channel. So we're right. still we're still trying to figure things out for the most part. What you th- you got a problem with how we run our channel? <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Mhm. Catch me outside. Let's go, boy. Let's go. If you okay in in small like, not game news. Sorry about this. That I'm kind of cutting this, but Jesus, the Catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> meme that's been going around about the girl on Dr. Phil. Oh, God. That's glorious. I know women like that. 
Oh, you want you want you want to just go ahead and make fun of me? How about you catch me outside? How about you just catch me outside? It's like uh, first off, that's not actual English. Uh, well, I can't say anything because I don't fucking like speak English half the time. Yeah. I speak but catch me outside. How about that? How about I? Is hmm. not. How about that? How about is that? not actual English. So, uh, either way, at the end of game news, uh, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Mm-hmm. Not a whole lot of stuff that came out this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Or any real news that came out this week. Yeah. Uh, we have Resident Evil 7. It is on the horizon, folks. Oh, Get ready. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. It is on the horizon. Okay. Get ready. Yeah, I saw they had a slitter. When I went to the game store earlier, they had a whole bunch of Resident Evils on the shelf for, uh... Oh yeah, gotta get ready. I know. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't remember which one came out. Shit. Or which one's coming out? Yeah. Like, okay. Re7. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, Yakuza. Uh, get ready for y- uh, Yakuza if you like those like big open-ended, uh, like just packed with content. Yeah. Uh, like open yeah. world games, like with a really good story. Yeah. Uh, look no further than Yakuza. It's been kind of overlooked, not by Sony. Sony knows they have a good franchise with uh, Yakuza. And it it shows. Yeah. So uh, get ready for that to be released. Uh, oh, and Injustice. Uh, this uh, is like the big. This is the biggest news of the week. I don't know how I almost forgot it. How dare you? Maybe because Power Ra- uh, Maybe because Power Rangers and Logan just have taken all my excitement this year. Maybe, huh? Or this week, not this year. <laughs> yeah, uh, say wow. Jesus. Low bar. Uh, but, yeah, very low bar. <laughs> But uh, Injustice 2 uh, looks like it's going to be re- very good. It's going to build off of the original story. Um, I'm assuming this is taking place in the multiverse where Joker is dead, it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, it looks like the, it's like this is where it left off. The regular Justice League came and helped save the day. Thanks. But now you're still stuck in this shitty world. Yep. So... Uh, I'm hoping that's the way it is because I, I, that's what I want. Yeah. That's really what I want. That in that one trailer with Superman holding up fucking dead Lois Lane, it's like, oh damn. Oh damn, no, not like this. What the fuck? Uh, Lines need to be redrawn. But the <laughs> uh, the additions of the game uh, have been detailed, yeah. and we're gonna have premium skins mm-hmm. and shaders. Great, I get to pay for shaders. It's gonna be so pretty, though. So pretty. It, it's Yes, I'm not even gonna lie. It's gonna be pretty, because you get to customize your fight. This is a fighting game I have always wanted. I so to delve in and customize my fighter the way I want, besides just fucking colors. Yeah. Like, Street Fighter's awesome, but it's like, hey, here's a color, and buy the costume pack. No, Injustice 2's gonna be like, you want, you want your gear? You want to, like, deck out your Batman to look like the dude from Batman Beyond? Yeah. You want him to look like Terry McGinnis? Yeah. Fuck you. Do uh, it. Yeah. I, I was super excited because I actually found a Funko Pop about today. I was like, oh. Yeah, it's, like, I am super excited about this game. However, it is a fighting game. If it were for an RPG, it would be even more like, oh! Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, if they uh, it's a fighting game, so Batman it's Beyond, man. I would freak the fuck out. Oh, yeah. But That was a good I, series. Oh god, yeah, but uh, Injustice Two. It looks like it's coming out. I think it said March, mm, March so. or May. Yeah, I think it was March. Hang on, I- I'm gonna. I oh, don't want to seem like a jackass. You know what? Really fucking cool. We came out on the Switch. If we had Injustice, I, on, if we had a I sincerely doubt it's gonna come out on the Switch. I know, but if it did, that would be the fucking shit. Okay. Well, in a few days they're gonna um, they're gonna do a live stream on it, and there will be more info on it then. But it looks like it might be either March or May, uh, mm-hmm. like March into May, uh, like within that time frame. Yeah. I'm assuming it's gonna be released. Yeah. Uh, but the additions, I have the uh, info up now. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the additions of the game. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna have. Uh, DLC, you know, more characters, season pass, uh, more characters in the season pass, shit like that. Yeah. Uh, now, on top of the characters we already know that are going to be in it, like Blue Beetle, The Flash, Gorilla Grodd, uh, Atrocitus, which I'm super excited for. Yeah. 
because he's going to be using Dextar the cat. <laughs> yeah. Like this roster looks like it's going to be absolutely slam packed. But the the thing I hate is that the pre order gets you Dark Side. Yeah. Why do I have to pre order to get Dark Side? <laughs> Eh, it's fine. But um, as far as characters, it looks like, at least from the trailer, it looks like they're going to be adding on Bane, Poison Ivy, uh, Robin, yeah. Dark Side uh, from the pre-order, uh, yeah. and, uh, and Brainiac. Yeah, which I'm, ex I'm curious to see how Brainiac's going to play. Oh, yeah, because you know he's just going to be like one of those standing sentinels that can keep you that can keep you afar yeah but as soon as you get in like you can actually fuck him up just like that's the kind of yeah that you just wail on him and that's kind of the what i want to see i want to see him be able to play a really good distance in mid game mm -hmm. yeah. but not have a whole lot of options to get you away from him yeah. if you're close yeah. which would... is going to make him a nightmare for people like supergirl uh people who like playing supergirl yeah just generally anyone that likes close combat probably yeah. Which, by the way, Supergirl is way more prominent oh, yeah. in this She's game than I thought she was going to be. She's just strong like, as fuck. Like, she is going to be all over this game, and I had no idea. Like, I thought it was going to be a little bit less. Yeah. Part of this game. Uh, like, she was just going to be kind of the side. Nope, she's taking center stage, it looks like. Yeah. So, either way, it looks... Uh, Injustice looks awesome. Everything this week has been slow, but... Uh, Injustice, really, the more I think about it, the more I get excited. Yeah. And that's just because uh, I, I liked Injustice 1. Go ahead, sue me. But I was a guy who played Shazam. Oh, Shazam. Because, because I could do like 70% combos if I had you in the corner. Yeah. Jesus Christ, it was ridiculous. Yeah, ooh. I just looked, I just looked at that costume you fucking sent me on Discord. It actually looks really nice. Yeah, doesn't it? It does. Like, oh shit. I would like that. Damn it. Yeah. But let's get like that, that costume for Injustice 2. Right? I don't like that mask. That mask is ugly on him, though. Well, yeah, it makes him look like a pelican. Yeah, it does. It's like, ew. A Green Lantern pelican. You need a different mask, but you need a different mask. So, uh, either way, um, that's kind of it for this week in nerddom. Uh, but we'll be back next week. It's going to be probably a stacked week next week because uh, we're, we're kind of coming out of January. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, it's tax time. So, you know, everyone's going to start announcing stuff to try to get that tax money. So, money. Hey, uh, future. Find Ted DiBiase, like his theme song, yeah. and just put some of that in. Just <laughs> money, 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 money. Like we need that. Yeah. But Pl play us out, Ted DiBiase music. Once again, I'm TJ, aka Graded Binky. I'm Digi. That's and you can it. follow us. Yeah, you can follow us at our Twitters in the description below. You can also follow Nerdmake in the description below. Yep. We'll see you next week. We love you. Nerdin' out. Stay nerdy. Boop.